Hello guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be talking about Kasperi Kapanen and going to the Pittsburgh Penguins for a bunch of assets. Now, I literally just woke up to this trade, so bear in mind any mistakes in this video, but this huge trade went down during the middle of the second round, which I didn't expect, but Kapanen being traded wasn't the biggest surprise in the world. If you're watching this, don't haven't already, hit that subscribe button, make sure you do so. We're on the road to 25k. If you're enjoying so far, make sure you join the Grab Gang. Of course, hit that like button for more videos just like this one, and if you haven't already either. So, when it comes to the trade details on this one, the Pittsburgh Penguins get Kasperi Kapanen from the Leafs and Jesper Lindgren, defensive prospect and left winger Pontus Auberg. When it comes to the Maple Leafs, they get the 15th overall pick in the 2020 draft alongside Evan Rodriguez, Philip Hollander, and David Orsovsky. Now, this is a crazy trade for both sides. Now, Kasperi Kapanen, of course, drafted by the Pens, I'm pretty sure in the first round of 2014, and he was involved in the Phil Kessel deal, and he was really the only main guy that actually performed for Toronto in that Kessel deal, but Toronto sends him back to Pittsburgh, and Pittsburgh gives up a mega haul for this. Now, personally, that 15th overall pick, it was up in the air what Pittsburgh was going to do with it because they had the chance to give it up to Minnesota and get the next pick, but it makes sense now why they kept that pick so they could actually trade it to another team to get an asset, and that's what they do here. Now, when it comes to Toronto getting rid of Kasperi Kapanen, they get rid of $3.2 million in cap space for the next three years, so pretty big cap dump, but also a guy that I think could be missed on Toronto, even though he was mostly a third liner for them. That's a player that I think could be doing pretty well alongside of Malkin or Crosby and Pitt. Pittsburgh. Not sure if he's actually up to that level. Maybe he's a third liner or something, but for Pittsburgh, I think he can be pretty decent. Now, when it comes to Lindgren for uh, that defensive prospect going back to Pittsburgh, he isn't really turning out to be too much playing in the Ailes Venskan this next season, but could be like a fringe NHL player if he pans out. Doing pretty well in the AHL last year at least. And then you have Pontus Auberg, who's pretty much just a depth forward. Maybe a 13th guy for the Pittsburgh Penguins if they go that route. But nothing too special and probably won't do too much on Pittsburgh at least. Then going on to what the Maple Leafs get in this trade. And again, this I think is very fascinating. They get the 15th overall pick, which just by itself, if they got that for all the assets they had to give up, I thought it was a pretty decent trade for the Leafs. And then you go into Philip Hollander. Now, David Warsawski is a is, is just kind of out there, but Philip Hollander, to me, was one of my favorite prospects in the 2018 draft. I still think he has a great potential to become a pretty solid middle six forward. He's a guy that hasn't been as productive as you would want, but I still think has made some good progress, and skill-wise, I think there is potential there to really round out into a good overall forward. When it comes to that 15th overall pick as well, you could get some excellent players there. If you want to go for the forward end, you could get a guy like a Seth Jarvis, a Dawson Murphy, or potentially some excellent guys and even if they do end up reaching for defense but if it's a guy like a Brandon Schneider or something that's still a pretty good player you're getting at number 15 so for the Leafs I really do like what they got in this trade for captain they get kind of a cap dump here but they get a first round pick 15 overall and Hollander who I think is going to be a pretty solid player in the NHL someday if he pans out which obviously no guarantee but for Toronto getting some pretty good future assets and not gonna lie Kind of impressed by what they were able to pull off here. I still think Kapanen will be a pretty solid player in Pittsburgh, but the return here for, for Toronto is not bad whatsoever. But let me know down in the chat down below, even though I think Toronto wins this trade, let me, or not the chat, the comments. Let me know down in the comments down below, who do you think wins this trade? Do you think it's Toronto? Do you think it's Pittsburgh? Let me know. And what do you think about the assets exchanged here? Also, of course, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Join the Grab Gang. Make sure you share this video with your friends and get it out there and click on this call right here to watch all my trade videos right on playlist. I'm very hard. I'm trying to very hardly uh, keep out a sneeze at the moment. So, <laughs> try my best. I'll see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye.